Hey friends, today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the brand new Accor FP2 Presence Sensor. And I gotta tell you, I was super happy with the FP1, um, but the FP1 was very hard to get in the United States. Um, but I did get a bunch of them, and this is one of the best sensors I've ever tested. And looking and hearing about the FP2, that takes presence sensors to the next level. So I can't wait to get this thing installed. Now the FP1 does use Zigbee, so you need one of their hubs, um, and it doesn't. They say it doesn't work with HomeKit, but if you double or triple press one of your hubs, you can add this to that hub, um, their core hub, and that will add it to HomeKit. Where the FP2 is native to Apple Home. So this does work natively with Apple Home, Alexa, and Google. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break this thing open and see what we get and see what this looks like. Our presence sensors are awesome. Motion sensors are okay, but it makes uh, motion sensors, you have to have constant motion, where a presence sensor um, with its millimeter wave technology, you can pick, it can pick up little tiny movements and notice if you're still in the room, where a motion sensor, if you sit down and stop moving or watching TV or on your computer, it's going to say that you're not in the room, where a presence sensor will notice that you're there and uh, you can automate based off of what data you get from here. Upon first look, you can see it's a little bit bigger than the FP1, but it has the same type of base that you can swivel, and it has a magnetic base right there. You have your, um, your HomeKit code. This is not um, currently working with Matter, but they say Matter is going to come down the road. And this also has a built-in light sensor that's exposed to HomeKit where the FP1 did not have that. On the bottom, you do have a single button right there. And then you can open this up and you can see it is micro USB-C. So good to see that. And like I said, this is magnetic. So you can, uh, if you can find like a nail in the wall, you can definitely use that to uh, put this onto the wall. You can mount it flat to the wall. And if you happen to mount this on top of a ceiling, one of the things that it does is that it will detect if someone falls. So I see most people using this for detection of presence in a room. It also has multiple detection zones. I think it's up to 30. So it can tell where you are inside the room and you can automate it. And that's what's so awesome about this one compared to this one. It just This one, the FP1 just knew that you were in the room. The FP2 can know where you are within the room and automate off of that data. So that's what's so cool about this. This can, can also detect up to five people within the room. They say three is the best, but it can do up to five. Let's see what else we get in here. All right, you get a little instruction book. This looks like a little piece of metal, so you can screw this to the wall and then magnetize it just like that. And then you have a little hardware to mount that plate. Here is your power wire, it is USB-A to USB-C, but they do not include a power adapter. You will have to provide that yourself. I'm sure you have ones laying around. It just needs to be five volts, one amp. Everyone has them. Where the FP1, um, the wire was not detachable, um, but it did come with a power adapter. I'm just gonna switch this out and use this for the FP2. It will work, and I'm super excited to get this thing up and running. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.